to make it like comic book lunacy. But each thing actually has like a direction to yeah. keep people thinking about it. And the back matter kind of explains the slow progress of what happens little by little to make the United States so crazy. So, you know, again, it's a really personal book for both of us, but we want you to pick it up in the spirit of, you know, all the great series, the ongoing series, The Mission of the Walking Dead saga. There's our, there's our no, cover. Oh, wow. That's a uh, camera did that cover. And that just, I mean, it sort of says it all, right? Like, yeah. you know, there's the USA, but, but where is it? It's, 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 where is it? Who knows? Uh, we, um, but uh, yeah, it, it launches in November. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast. We're we're all in. We're we're sort of you know as as Scott said, use this car out. We're both like super super. We have a lot going on, and so that that we decided to put our time and energy into this is, is meaningful to us, and hope you'll you'll like it. Too. And we're super grateful to Image. Honestly, yeah. and everyone's been so supportive and great with us, and uh, it's just a joy to, to have it. We're behind. excited for sure. Thank you. All right. Well, I have to go to the airport, so I'm going to leave it in. It's Todd's very capable hand. Yeah, this is the first thing. All right. Yeah, thanks, guys. And once again, Charles proves that he's the hardest working man in the comics. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, moving on to kind of technical stuff, um, I know you literally tell a story. Um, Ed, you've got storyboarding in your background. Um, we often see that in common with comics writers, but what are some examples of comic storytelling that allows you to storyboard um, that's different from movie storyboarding? Well, the way I'm doing it, uh, there's not too much difference. I have the books as uh, a series of uh, storyboards. I don't really mess around with uh, page layout because I'm trying to create a product uh, that's e easy to read for pe people that don't have uh, experience reading comic books. Um, so it's very similar. I mean, I try to uh, plus out certain scenes by, you know, maybe I'll go full page or double page spread. But for the most part, it's like five or six panels on a page. And I just try to move, move the story through. Um, there's not really that much difference. I mean, my approach to storyboarding is a job. I mean, it's just a job. I mean, I consider it art. Um, and the art is the comic books. And I approach that as capital A art. Is there a way that you'd like to, because I know a lot of times writers will format everything and they'll add in links, like, I want this dog to look like this. Do you like doing that, or do you just like letting your artist kind of go wild? I did it. I did it for years with Greg Capullo, and he never told me that the program he used to translate the script didn't show him any of that. And so I remember one day he 